Hello, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel, uh, Beehive Evolution. Uh, I'm in Manitoba, Zone 2, and today we have a, a Bombay minus 30, and uh, it's uh, pretty normal for, for us for at this time of year. Uh, I, I've been reading, I'm just starting in bee, bee stuff, uh, just uh, last, last fall. And I read lots of uh, books and videos and watch everything. And like everybody else, I see on different videos, everybody wants to tweak the hive and do it, do something new. I am trying to do many hive, hybrid hives of different types. And my goal is to, uh, it's not necessarily honey production is secondary to me. For me, it's very important that we save our bees and uh, that we share as much as we can what we learn and what we do so we can as a group, as a family, uh, save our bees and save uh, humanity sometimes for the, or the uh, pollinators. And I got into bees for one reason. I started, I retired and I uh, did a big garden. I had strawberries and uh, I, there was no pollinators and I couldn't get nice strawberries and everything else and I had to pollinate my cucumbers, myself, and everything else, and I said, this is, this is ridiculous. When I was small, we used to uh, see uh, drones and bees everywhere. And when we cut the lawn, we, we were just killing thousands because they were everywhere. We couldn't do nothing about it. And today, you cut the lawn on the dandelions and you see absolutely nothing. So I said, you know what, I'll get into bees and uh, to keep my mind going, and I like to do innovation, so I said, I'll try to do something. So I started off by, I read this book, uh, it's Beekeeping by Fedor Lazutin and Leo Sharaskin, okay, uh, Russian. And uh, they have beehives in Russia, in approximately the same weather as we have. So it's important when you, you, you think about your hive or everything else that it's in the same zone and because the hives I built are necessary, it might be too, too overkill for you in the south and uh, so on and so forth. So I started to look, uh, watch hundreds of videos and everything else and I put things together. The first hive, I want, I want to bring you concepts, and as we go with the, the further on with the, the videos, we'll try to develop this concept and make it work as, as best as we can. And I would appreciate your comments uh, to tell me if, if you have ideas, because we're all in this together, like I said. So I will start first by telling you about my first hive that I'm starting. It's a hybrid. It's like a platypus of hives. It's got, it's a mixture between the top bar and then the uh, <coughs> cathedral. Your classic cathedral is three sides, but I made it two sides for simplicity and uh, that was good enough. And as you see, I left some, I built it, so there's bee space, 5 16th all around, so the bees can travel in the hive anywhere they want. Now, so I've got top bar, cathedral, and then I unite this with Landstrop, which is the universal uh, model in, our, in North America and, and many other places. So I didn't want to get a, all kinds of equipment or uh, for, for, uh, for this or whatever. So, Having this, I can take this off with two screws and I can put that in my extractor. And I have in all 23 inches from here to here. Okay? It's important in our, in our uh, climate that we have at least 6 to 8 inches of honey or storage before we start the winter so they survive. This part here would be just a crushed comb okay so which uh, is, is good so this part when I take it off I just take the 
the cross comb. And if you see, I have put a slot here where I'll put a, a, a lining of uh, wax for them to start going straight. And uh, this is my first hybrid. And it will be horizontal, of course, so it's a horizontal, uh, so you have all kinds of different hives put together. The hive will consist of 33 to 34 of these. That's good enough to have two colonies to make splits. And uh, I uh, will also have satellites to it, connected with flexible pipes in case it's not big enough or whatever. Uh, because in a tree trunk, you have different cavities, you have a crack in the tree, the bees follow the crack, they go to another cavity, so they know what they're doing. So I, don't, I, I believe that you can put the, just another hive there, connect it with uh, a flexible pipe of a uh, food grade that is not harmful to the bees, and uh, you can do all kinds of things. Then I came upon <coughs> this video, and I have to put his video in his name. Okay, if you see that. I'm from the old school, I don't know how to link things, uh, uh, in the future I will, but for now, so you have this guy. He's a Russian guy, also, and near St. Petersburg, Russia. And he's just came out with a video two weeks ago, and he's already close to five million views. Uh, you should watch this video, it's, it's so exciting. It's, uh, it's uh, very uh, well thought of. And uh, so, but at the end, this man too wants to help the family of, of beekeepers. So he set a challenge to us that the concept is given out. He says, expand it, and together we'll work together the same way that I want to do things. And uh, so I took the challenge. What he uses is recycled, bo recycled bottles, okay? You actually put bees in the bottle, and they, they, go, they do very well, actually. And then he connects everything with different, different uh, uh, ball tops and everything, and everything is screwed together. So on this bottle, you'll have the bees. And if you watch the video, you'll understand more. But uh, then the bees go up, and then he has a uh, queen excluder, and he has a smaller one, and they fill it up with honeycomb, and he collects like that. But he has, uh, well, from what I see from his video, the cans are slightly bigger than that, and this is not quite enough for a big colony. So there is things to improve on there. And uh, he also, in our climate, to have this kind of thing. So what I did is I made a, a box for it. He, he puts it just on the tree. I made a box of it that closes off, and these are recyclable door panels, <coughs> or fiberglass door panels, with an R <coughs> volume minimum of R12. So that's equivalent to eight inches of wood, okay? So when you close it off with seals, so this is not finished here. As I go along, I will, I will bring you along for the, for the, the, the voyage of this. There'll be weather stripping. When this thing closes, it's going to be airtight completely. And for us to winterize them here, is it possible to winterize them in, in here? I think so. So this will follow a bit the uh, the uh, method of the wary hive. Okay, uh, W A R R E. Okay, this is simply all uh, cone, uh, natural cone in this. And what you do, you introduce, you can actually make a swarm trap out of this. And uh, I might do one to show you. And once you catch a swarm, you come in here and you put it in the center, in here. So you have your bees that start there, okay? So there'll be another entrance. Let's see, this is the one here. There'll be another entrance going with a flexible pipe going there, and you close off the other ones. Once they're established, okay, they usually go from top to bottom, 
you can close off this one and I have adjustable little closures here that I will do and then eventually the bees will move downwards okay and then you put a queen excluder here and you're going to do honey in this one all right so at the end if it's a good year and you are able to harvest honey you take this one you open it up this is a cut and screw you open it up get the, uh, the honeycomb out collect your honey and then you lift this two up and you put one, that one under so it's, it's a constant cycle okay and you always have fresh comb fresh wax which eliminates disease uh, we know that after a few years the comb becomes useless and they can't do nothing with it so this is the concept I'm going in I'm going to finish it off as I, I believe and uh, I have uh, two or three other concepts that will that will uh, work with this this could be used if let's say there's too much bees and you need to make a split you can have on this side a stand okay and let's say your, your brood is in this one and you connect okay you shut off here you open this therefore they start to pass and then suddenly they start the building in there okay and then after a while when these two are full you can take this away and you have a split Okay, I'm not an expert. I've just started the bees, what I've, I've read. And then I'll be back in a second. <coughs> in these things, before I start, I'm going to put some, uh, some wood pegs in here. And I'm going to cut out... A, this is taco wire, okay? And then I'm going to cut out taco wire, hook it on to this in, inside, and then I'm going to intertwine some beeswax uh, sheeting in there. So they will start, at least one or two of them, for them to start. And then you have uh, something for them to work with. Okay, so this is how it's done. And this closes, of course, and it's like a tree drum. And uh, what a coincidence, it's a hexagon, like the bees, the bees thing. And then you have a clip that clips it uh, tight, and this would be, you could put it on a tree with a brackets or whatever. Or if you have, uh, just in your yard, a post or something, you can drop it on, not drop it on, screw it on. And uh, you have a small hive. And the intention of having something small like that and simple, uh, this is not complicated because it's only crushed comb and you don't need any, anything complicated. Someone with limited knowledge can get some bees going, okay? If you are interested in that, of course, I'll say like every YouTuber says, uh, press like, and take your finger, and press subscribe. But again, for me, it's for the bee family. Uh, I, I'm not trying to. To hide something and, and come out and patent or whatever, if let's say we come with the, out with an incredible idea. This is all. If you see this right now, and you have you have the capacity to start building one right away and do it better, go for it. Okay. So in the next, the future, I will bring you always. I will start working on that one and my and this one at the same time. And I, I did a short video of how I assembled these guys. So I will put that on and uh, we'll go on the voyage together. So I thank you much for your attention and we'll see you next time.